All right, so lesson 102 is on mass and weight. So here we have the U.S. customary system for weight and then the units of measure for mass. So as you can see, an envelope in a letter is about one ounce, a shoe is about one pound, and a small car is about one ton. A grain of salt is one milligram, a paper clip is one gram, and a math book is one kilogram. Now on Earth, mass and weight are the same, but any, on any other planet, it is not. Okay, so here we have two kilograms is how many grams? So we're going to take a hint from this word here, kilo. Okay, and then the rest of the word is grams, so we have kilo. Well, kilo means 1,000. So there are 1,000 grams in one kilogram. So next, we have some addition and subtraction problems. Now, we're dealing with pounds and ounces, and if you remember, 16 ounces is equal to 1 pound, which is going to affect how I add and subtract these numbers. So I have 7 pounds, 12 ounces, plus 2 pounds, 6 ounces. So I'm going to add up the ounces first. So I have 12 plus 6 is 18 ounces. So since there's only 16 ounces in a pound, I need to convert this into pounds and ounces because I can't have more than 16 ounces. So I'm going to subtract 16 ounces and add that one pound to my pound side, and left, I'm left with two ounces. Okay. Now I can add up the pounds. 7 plus 1 is 8, plus 2 is 10. So I'm left with 10 pounds two ounces. Okay. Now a subtraction I need to worry about the 16 ounces if I'm subtracting and or I have to borrow. So I cannot take 12 away from 10. So what I need to do is I need to borrow from the 9. The 9 becomes an 8. Now I'm not just going to add a 1 here. I need to add 16 ounces to the ounces I currently have. I'm going to rewrite the problem. I now have 8 pounds uh, 26 ounces, because I added the 16 ounces, minus 7 pounds, 12 ounces. Okay, so 26 minus 12, 6 minus 2 is 4, 2 minus 1 is 4 is 1. So I'm left with 14 ounces, and then 7 minus, 8 minus 7 is 1. So I'm left with 1 pound, 14 ounces. And that's it. Good luck on your homework.